All right, so um, right here we have a, a simple animation of an electromagnetic wave. And what we mean is an electrical disturbance that causes a magnetic disturbance that propagates itself through the vacuum of space at the speed of light. And just for, to, to wrap our brain around that, we're talking about something going mm -hmm. so fast that it's going from LA to Hawaii and back. 50 times in a second. And, and so that's, that's this simulation of an electromagnetic wave. All right, so next we have a, a video here of showing a electro, the electromagnetic spectrum. And that refers to a logical arrangement of all electromagnetic waves from low energy to higher energy. So on the lower lower energy we got microwaves for example going up through then then visible light and then as, th towards the higher end higher energy we got we have um, gamma all the, yeah all the things that cause cancer x-rays mm -hmm. um, gamma, gamma rays, rays um, yeah okay so uh, transparency versus opacity mm -hmm. uh, transparent material is a material is that, allows that allows visible light, light to mm, pass, pass through. through it, yes. And opacity or an opaque no. material op does not allow light yeah, to pass exactly, through. Exactly. Yeah. An example of the transparent material is the ground glass in the lens. The light will pass through it. So different materials will have different different properties of transparency and opacity. For example, um, light visible light doesn't go through a plastic bag. But you can see this, watch this video for yourselves, and actually see what happens when different wavelengths of light. Sorry, so you can watch this video and see what happens when infrared radiation um, is is hits this bag, and you can see how different that will be than when visible light hits the bag. Well, invisible light, it will be reflected blocked. off and blocked, whereas. The electromagnetic radiation of the IR will pass through. Yeah, beautiful. Be absurd, yeah. All right, so here we have a um, FET simulation for uh, visible light when it's going from a less dense to a more dense medium. I'm going to make this air and the next material glass, and I'm going to shine a light. And I can see, I can trace the, the light ray, and the light, the part of the light is reflected. That's what I see going up here. And another portion of the light is actually bent towards the, the normal, and that's the refracted light ray. What you will see in this simulation is the optical bench for a thin lens, and also, it shows the ray diagram that emanates from the object through the lens and forming the image. Varying the object distance from the focal length will also vary the image formation through this thin lens. This uh, simulation tells us about the difference between uh, real image and the virtual image. Okay, for example, if an object is placed um, within the focal plane of a convex lens, you will get a, a virtual image on the same side. And uh, on the other hand, if you keep the object away from the lens, you will get a real image on the other side of the lens. This uh, simulation um, shows about the difference between the real image and the virtual image. If the object is placed within the focal plane of a convex lens, you will get a virtual image. Grab it up there. There you go. And on the other hand, if you keep the object away from the 
lens you will get a real image on the other side of the lens this short video demonstrate the preliminary steps that is required to determine the focal length of each lens that we've been using through both the refracting telescope as well as the refracting microscope. Okay. From from optical centered optical centered. Yeah. Okay. So if you put this one at the focal length. No, it's not necessary. This one within the focal. Yeah. It may be within within the focal. Within the focal length. So let's put it around maybe what three centimeters. Okay. But the focal distance is about fifteen. This is simulated. This is simulated. This is three. This diagram um, illustrates the passing of parallel light rays through a convergent lens, and you can see there that it's going to the detector. Um, if we measure the distance from the detector back to the lens itself, that will give us our focal length. This ray diagram illustrates the construction of a refracting telescope where a real image, a far away real image, will produce an inverted real image. Oh, it's no, not uh, real uh, image. It yes, is it's a real object. object. object yeah. uh, that's your fault. Erase it. <laughs> stop it. Stop send it, it back. Yeah. Oh, it's OK. OK, stop so it. this is. No, no, stop you can't it. stop, stop it. it. Send it back. You, 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 so if I understand this right, you got your, your Ob object, and yeah. you have two lenses. This mm -hmm. would be object. our objective lens. This would be our eyepiece right. lens. Right. The focal length of our objective lens added to, so this di the distance from here to there, plus the distance from here to here, so the two focal lengths added together, plus a little distance where you will adjust the telescope. That's how we figured out how far apart to put the lenses in our telescope, okay? And that, that's how this image helped us. Um, moving on. Uh, this is a short video you can watch that shows how we got our supplies. Um, this is a video. With your telescope, yeah. Yeah, you, what did you guys take a picture of here? This was really cool. This is a pamphlet that was outside and it was uh, right. 4.10 meters away. Yeah, very cool, very cool. And, and what magnification was this? This was uh, 4.7? It's a telescope. Yep. Telescope is, yeah, 4.7. And then here we have a a ray diagram for a microscope and the, and the cool thing cool thing for me was to realize oh well it's just repl change the objective lens to the eyepiece and change the eyepiece to the objective lens it's mm -hmm. it's just like a telescope but backwards yeah that's right um i just thought that was no, really no, that's cool true. that's right if and you flip the telescope you'll get a microscope and th this is the microscope yeah. right mm -hmm. and and then this is a picture of an agenda sheet and if you look at Part of this, I think in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. This part here is what we see in the next picture. That's okay? Right. And there it is. The TC part and the ATION. That's a pretty nice, pretty nice little mm -hmm. mag this was what magnification was this? Six. Very cool guys. Good work. 